welcome back. In this video, we will briefly look at the effect of marijuana and the brain. So when cannabis is smoked or ingested as an edible or a tincture, it enters the bloodstream very quickly with the psychoactive compounds THC and CBD entering the brain within 30 seconds. And these effects, they peak within the 30 to 60 minute range and they last for about three to four hours, although this can vary based on individual factors. THC and CBD are highly lipophilic. And if you remember high school biology, you probably remember what this word lipid is. If you think about like liposuction, uh, lipids and lips, that just means fat, right? So lip is Greek for fat. So THC and CBD are highly lipophilic, meaning they have an affinity for fatty tissues and they can remain in those cells for a long time. And this is why they can be detected in the body for up to 80 days after ingestion. So sativa varieties of cannabis, they tend to elevate mood and focus while the indica varieties, also known as in the couch, they tend to have more sedative effects. So these different effects are due to the activation of CB1 receptors in different parts of the brain, with sativa varieties activating CB1 receptors in the prefrontal cortex and indica varieties activating them in more stress-oriented limbic circuitry. Now, the molecule in cannabis can often shift our brain towards a state of focus, elevated mood, and a heightened sense of importance. And this effect can be experienced while doing creative activities or even while doing trivial things like watching cartoons or movies. Sativa varieties of cannabis can narrow our focus, elevate our mood, relax us, or give us energy. However, some people may experience intense anxiety and paranoia, regardless of the type of sativa that they use. Now, THC and CBD potentiate different systems in the brain and body leading to varied and often opposite effects. And the effects of cannabis cannot be predicted based on an individual's personality or dosing. So sativa and indica strains of cannabis can have different effects on the brain. Sativa and indica strains of cannabis can have different effects on the brain and there are different strains of cannabis with varying levels of THC and CBD and so depending on which strain you use and how much you use you can experience a different range of different effects. For example if you use a sativa strain you might feel more focused and have an elevated mood and feel a heightened sense of importance about whatever you're doing. And this could be anything from writing a song or chatting with somebody to even watching Netflix and chilling. So sativa strains, they tend to be more stimulating and creativity inducing rather than productivity oriented. On the other hand, if you use an indica strain, you might feel more relaxed and energetic, but also more prone to falling asleep. Indica strains tend to be more helpful for people who struggle with anxiety or have trouble sleeping because they can suppress activation of the amygdala and threat detection centers in the brain. However, indica strains can also lead to pronounced defects in short-term memory, so it's important to be aware of that. Now, here's the tricky part. Everybody's different, and so what works for one person might not work the same for another. So some people might experience intense anxiety or paranoia when using certain strains of cannabis, while others might feel more relaxed and creative taking the exact same one. So there's no way to predict how a particular strain will affect an individual, which is why it's so important to experiment carefully and pay close attention to how you feel when using cannabis. So in general, THC and CBD, they tend to potentiate or increase the effects of different systems in the brain and the body. So if you experience paranoia or anxiety when using a particular strain, you're likely to experience that effect every time that you use that strain. So this is why that cannabis industry has become so highly customized with people seeking out very specific strains and hybrids that work best for them in different contexts. And ultimately, the best way to determine which strains work for you is through trial and error. But be sure to start with a small amount and gradually increase as needed. And also, it's important to pay attention to the source of your cannabis as it can be difficult to gauge the total amount of THC in a product if you're not getting it from a controlled source. But fortunately, with the commercialization of THC and CBD products, this is becoming easier to manage, but still something to be aware of. All right, thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe and also leave a comment below to share your experiences with cannabis so others can learn more about them as well.